We all know that sometimes you're a little mad and sometimes you're just like, call the cops, this guy's gonna go off mad, right? If you look at the list, think about somebody that got mad recently. So much. I'm gonna look for my reading glasses. And tell me what kind of mad they were. Furious. Furious mad? Which, which group is that in? Middle, high, or low? Oh, I didn't look at this. Oh, but furious mad, I'm okay with that. I've seen that before. How about, what's your favorite cuss word if you drop something on your toe? Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops. <laughs> I love it. Never heard that one before. Um, somebody tell me what your favorite mad expression or if it's just the low one. What works for you? What word would you use? Because I don't know how many people here can read without your reading glasses. But if I look at the, the low mad, the low angry, I'm not gonna say dismayed. It's not my vocabulary. And I'm not gonna say this one because I can't read it. But what word would you use for a little bit of angry? What's in your vocabulary? A little bit louder. Frustrated. No, sir. You need to remember that. You can't come in and say, oh, you look angry. Or you can't say, oh, you look pissed off or whatever, okay? Now look at something really angry. What word would you actually use? Frustrated or furious? Furious. Annoyed. Annoyed. Yeah. Aggravated. Now let's look at happy. What word would you use for happy? I'm not happy because I can't find my glasses. For high, medium, or mild? Whichever one, you tell me which one. Oh, here they are, yes. Thrilled. Thrilled, and that one's for the high one? Okay, so when you come home, you can say, I'm thrilled about my modern romance class. Excited. Thank you. I would say excited. Points. You'd say happy? Excited. Excited, okay. <laughs> so um, what I want you to do is be more emotionally intelligent and think different. When's the last time you saw your favorite parent? Everybody's a daddy's girl or mama's boy or whatever, right? The last time you saw your favorite parent, what look did they have on them? Was it a neutral look? Was it a you just made it in time to help me change diapers look? Was it one of these? I'd say it was a mix of surprise and happy. Okay. One of them's here. You, they were fearful when they saw Well, him? I may have scared my dad when he got home. Okay. Um, emotional intelligence, really, really important. I had a couple more things, but what I want to do is go over homework for next week. Is that cool? Once you learn how the homework system works, then I won't be so worried about going over things. But when you log on, you're gonna go straight to the announcements page. Usually the announcements are gonna say, last week we talked about sex, and next time, next week we're gonna talk about old people, or something like that, right? So, and, I'll say, and then it'll say, if you have any questions, complain to your friends, because I don't wanna hear you whining, then email me and we'll talk seriously. Cool? So, what you're gonna to wanna to do, faculty information is all about me, that's me on a good day. Just got out of jail. That's my dog. She's cool. She's old. She's got gray hair. Syllabus and schedule, I kind of already showed you that. Tells you how many absences you could have before I dump you from my course. If you have absences and you call me up and give me a legit reason or email me, I'm way okay. You're gonna do this online. Go ahead. Uh so does it count as an absence if we just watch the video online? No, no so, okay. Awesome. But hopefully you have more fun coming to class. Yeah. Or your schedule allows it. If you're worried about COVID, I'm, I'm way okay. If you can't have transportation, I'm way okay. You do you. I'm here to try to make it easy for you because the world's really weird right now, okay? So, documents is great. We're gonna do everything in MLA but not this week. Next week, I'll show you how to do it real easy. Assignments is where you're gonna live your life. Week one assignments, okay? This week, we're gonna talk about orientation to the college, emotional intelligence. So you click on that, 
And those are going to be a list of all the crap to do. All right. You'll see that these first couple, they'll say week one quiz will start. This is the, the work you're supposed to do. All these are videos. You'll have a video of how to get Microsoft Office for free. That's one on there. Oh, there's going to be a video you need to watch on these technical terms. I think if I remember right, it's four and a half minutes about using Blackboard, another six minute video. You're going to watch this video on tools. All these videos are less than 10 minutes. Then you're going to watch this one on resources. Then you're going to do this quick quiz on, excuse me, that you watch the videos. You'll click it and it will download after I fix Blackboard. Blackboard's going to be a big old pain in the butt. And then you're going to save it. Let's pretend it was this. You filled it out. You saved it on your desktop file. Save as. Okay, so that's on our desktop. When you get done, you're going to come over here, browse my computer on the desktop, and you find that thing we just did. Document number one. Open it. It's loading really slow. And then you say submit. So excuse me, I know I just messed up that. No, I gotta fix that. <laughs> right now, Blackboard's giving me a huge, big old mess. And I went through the help desk, and they said it was fixed twice. I'm sorry, I finally just emailed the, the biggest nerd on campus. He's a really cool dude. It's not just you. I have one or two other classes that they say they're due in, like, two they were due in 2016. When is it due? And that's a, that part right there is a teacher error. They just got to get their butt together and fix it. But right now, it's not, not letting me edit Blackboard. You can still watch the videos. And discussion board, you're going to watch the supplemental materials, that stuff, and post the discussion board. So you come over here, click on discussion board. Week one attendance, we talked about that, right? You're going to go to supplemental materials, create a thread. You can put your name here. You don't have to put in the code. No. Code. No, we're, we're okay. just doing a discussion board for the for attendance. If there's a code and you don't watch this for three days, the code's no more. So if you if you're going to do this online and you don't attend class on Wednesdays or Tuesdays, today's Tuesday, you don't do your class till Thursday. You show me you did it by telling me something you learned in the discussion. If you tell me something you learned because you watched the videos on Blackboard navigation, you didn't do it. I want you to sit through that hour and 15 minute video and tell me something you learned. If you tell me something you learned from the video on the first 10 minutes, I'm gonna put a reply on that discussion board saying, come on, slacker. Hmm. I wouldn't do that because everybody could read it. But I'd say next time, give me something a little bit more deep. Write a whole paragraph about it, not just a sentence you quoted from me. Cool? But this one right here is going to be on emotional intelligence. Cool. Can you read that with all the typos? Yep. Most everything, then you'd hit submit. From now on, after this week, I'm going to say I need a paragraph. A paragraph has a minimum of three sentences. No more than six, because i got a lot to read. After this week, this week you can put a sentence. After this week, you have to have a paragraph, which is at least sentences. Three sentences. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you're going to go back over here and see what else I have to do. Assignments. Week one. Oops. So we did the discussion board, right? Now you're going to do the writing assignment. It's going to be about an autobiography. You're going to be able to download this example of introduction and conclusion. We'll talk about that. A sample ML of paper. Right now it's not downloading. This autobiography assignment is going to give you ideas. You're going to tell me something about you. I don't care if it's about when you were born. I don't care if it's about what you want to do in the future. I don't care if it's something that you find really excited about college. You're just going to write two or three paragraphs for me. But what you have to do on every one of your assignments is 
Oh, there's a, where'd this steak and eraser come from? <laughs> oh, two people did it. There's, that was on me. You're gonna have name, you're gonna have an introduction paragraph, you're gonna have a body, which is yada, 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 right? Probably two bodies, so that way you could tell me about when you were a baby, then when you were adolescent, and then you're gonna have a conclusion paragraph. You always need an intro, and you always need a conclusion. They can't say yo hey for an introduction. Hmm. You would say something like, I'm writing this report on my biography. I'm gonna tell you about when I was a little baby. I will conclude with what happened whenever I fell out of the car because my dad was going fast. <laughs> then you're gonna tell me when I was a baby, when I fell out of the car, and the conclusion, this has been my autobiography. I hope you learned a lot more about me, and um, this should be a fun class. Three sentences minimum, right? Right now, I just want you to slap something on there so I can have an idea of where we're at. If there's only one or two people that are struggling with it, well, I'm gonna say, let's go over here after class for 10 minutes. If everybody just butchers this, well, then I'm gonna spend a half class on it, cool? Okay, this autobiography assignment's gonna give you a bunch of prompts or ideas of what to write about. If you are really into snowboarding, write about that. If you're into cliff jumping, write about that. Make something exciting to you, otherwise you're not gonna write about it. If you're gonna write about your future, it's really tough. I wanna be a neurosurgeon because I saw a movie on TV about <laughs> neurosurgery. Being a right, I really don't know anything about it, and I don't know what classes I'm supposed to take, but the future's hard to write about. Okay, then we're gonna go down here to reading. Every week you're gonna have something to read. This week's reading's gonna be on multiple intelligence, or emotional intelligence. You're gonna click on that, read it, click on that, read it. This is what you're gonna do your discussion board on, but it says supplemental material, you're gonna write about emotional intelligence. We went over a little bit of class, you're gonna read those. Am I going too fast? Okay, every week you're gonna do a badge. And for this badge, you're gonna download this and there's like 10 questions you need to answer. Every week you do a badge, you're gonna do it online. You are online students. So if it says, I wanna know about CWI's library, you're gonna to go to CWI library page, read crap, put it on paper. Cool? If I say I wanna to to hear about veterans benefits, you're gonna to go to the veterans benefits page on CWI's website and you're gonna write about it. Put the crap you learned on paper. Crap's my favorite word. Then you're gonna attach it. The last thing you're gonna do is the attendance discussion board. And with that, it's gonna say go there and you're gonna tell me something you've learned in class today. Yes. What's the date that you always? One more time. What's the date that you always? I like to say Sunday night. What did I ask you to tell me about? Um, Depends. Yeah. Well, I got 10 minutes left. Don't let me forget. You already disappointed me. My heart hurts. <laughs> um, legally, I'm trying to find a mask that works I could actually breathe in. I have one of these, and I've used the whole punch, and I cut a bunch of holes in it and it works great, but then my, my face is so big, I gotta do something so that they're in the tuck part, you know what I mean? And so once I wear it two or three times and it does this, well, you can see the holes. Because I personally don't like masks, but I also believe in obeying the law. I don't like driving slow. Well, wait a minute, I'm old, I like driving slow. <laughs> but there's certain things I don't like to do, but it's the law I'm gonna do it, because it's the right thing to do, that's just who I am. Anyway. What did you just say? Oh, due dates. Okay. Legally, for my job, I need to respond to your emails within 24 hours. I have a smartphone. I'm going to voice to text, and I'm going to respond. I got I got a reply from somebody. They said, pardon? I'm, I read what the voice to text said. I'm like, oops, sorry. You know, I was in Costco last night. This is completely wrong. She said my, anyway. So sometimes we'll be funky. Sometimes we're gonna to have to do it two or three times, but I'd rather respond to you as quick as I can, voice to text. When you email somebody, you say, Howie, or Professor Egotistical Dude, right? I don't like the word, but you know, if you're a professor, you earned it, I'm always okay with it, but some people use it as a title, it's kind of puffed up. Most of the people I know that they're really cool, but they've earned it, so I'm okay with it. But you'd say, Howie, 
I am in your quid class number 036 that meets on Tuesday mornings at 11. If not, you're nameless. Did I say that to anybody this morning on email? I responded to three times. I said, what number and when do we meet? That's great. I can help you with this, but I need to know what class you're in. What's the class? Was that you? No, I'm um, cool. I don't know. Somebody? What is it? 036. So you would say, I'm in your Tuesday morning class number 036. And if you say, I want you to look at my grade and I have to look at four different classes to find you, that's not my problem. I will respond to your email and say, I know we've talked 40 times this week on email, but I also have 60 students. You need to tell me what class you're in, okay? So whenever you email somebody at college, you say, this is, or they'll know it's how we long because they see your email. Say, good morning. And then say, I am in your modern romance class that meets Tuesday mornings, class number such and such. That way they're automatically, you don't have to bring them up to speed. Cool? All right. I have 24 hours to respond to your email. Usually I'm gonna be faster. All work is done midnight before class. So your work's gonna be done Monday night at midnight. Cool? All work. Midnight at midnight, okay? We live in a COVID world. If it's not gonna be a Monday night by, by midnight, what you need to do is email me with your reason. Not excuse, reason. That reason may be dog ate my homework, <laughs> my significant other is sick, I'm sick of my significant other, I don't care what it is, but I need to hear from you. If you don't turn nothing until the end of the semester, that's the law and it's okay. But I know nobody can do a semester's worth of week work in one week, right? So if you're gonna be late, all I need is an email. And I'm cool with that, because life is happening right now, right? Okay. I have 24 hours to respond to your email. If you have questions about your homework, and I don't have to respond to emails on the weekend, Friday at five till Monday at eight, I could be gone. Not that I don't love you, but I love other things more, okay? So if you wait to email me about your homework and you're gonna email me Monday afternoon, you're gonna have a hard time in your homework because I don't have to reply to it, right? If you don't email me until Sunday night, I don't have to reply to emails until eight in the morning, then I got 24 hours. I don't have to reply to you until Monday morning or Tuesday morning. Don't wait till the last minute. Now, chances are Sunday afternoons after church, I'm doing this, reading, watching something on YouTube that really is just wasting my life. So if you email me, I'm probably gonna reply to you. But if I don't, that's not a Howie problem. Cool? So everything's due Monday at midnight. And if you're not turning stuff in, or you say, Howie, I don't know how to turn stuff in, but I've done it, I'm gonna trust you. But you need to tell me why your work isn't there. Cool? That's a respect thing. Now, last thing, she made me think about it because she said this. If I ask, what's your name, dude? Long. Yeah, a little bit louder. So this is Long. Long? Yeah. Okay. I ask a question. I say, Long, tell me what was the name of your first date? Um, if he doesn't want to tell me, you'd say, ah, I'd be okay with that. You, you could tell me, I, I'm not comfortable. Or you could say, ah, I'm okay. If I say, what's your favorite color? The answer that's always correct is it depends. At night it could be one thing, during the day it could be another, right? If you're buying a car, you might like red, but you don't want to red, wear red when you go to the store, right? Because everybody's gonna stare at you. You know what I mean? So it depends. Whenever I ask you a question in this class, 90% of the time the answer could be depends and it's completely okay. Cool? All right. If you have questions, stick around after class. We'll chat about it. Um, or email me, okay? Sorry, I kept you like 30 seconds over. I think we're right. You think you're okay with that? No. All right. Would you turn off the camera for me? Oh, yeah. Thank you.